And yes, I'm in a hoodie and my sweats. Uh, again, this is my go-to outfit. Good day, Saturday. Just finished filming, so I'm gonna go downstairs and cook a little bit. Chris came home from work, started napping like instantly, and it's hair wash day, so I snatched myself up with some gel, and then of course ruined it all by putting on my hoodie. So it's not as nice as it was earlier, but it's a something. We'll deal with all this when we get back. I like to clean up, as you guys know, if not the same day, the next morning, but I'm gonna clean it up today because this is just, urgh. I am so hungry. Hello, Yuna. How are you, honey? You just hanging out downstairs, being nosy by yourself? Yes, you are, yes, you are, yo. A scratch go a scratch go Okay, we look the same, don't you think? Ew. This is so annoying. I don't know what you're so excited about. I'm cooking for me. It is already well into the afternoon. We're gonna make a quick Thai stir fry. These are not the healthiest things for you, but my mom gave me a bunch of these. They retail for like under $3. It's like, let's say $2.50. And you can get them at like Thai grocery stores. The Korat noodle. It comes with noodles and sauce. My mom wants to make sure I'm eating and of course affordably. So she gives me like, Steaks and stuff, which of course every Asian mother and a lot of other mothers have like a freezer full of meat because they buy a bunch when the sales, you know, going. So I just have to slice up the meat that I've been defrosting today. It's gonna slice very nicely. I don't got no vegetables usually. I throw in some bok choy or something. Ate all those already, so those are gone. Just had this the other day when Val came over. And I've been eating quite a lot of these because, you know, it's very dip free 2019 friendly. And I just love a good spicy noodle. But I wish I did have some veggies. Usually I have like green onions or something, ate all those. All I've had all day is a Hawaiian roll. Hawaiian roll, half of a mini soda, and a liquid IV hydration bottle. Your girl needs to eat garlic. Got our garlic. Look at all that sauce. Soaking the noodles. Add a little oil, then we put the garlic in, then we just cook the meat, throw the noodles in and the sauce, and it's done. It's super simple. And there you go, just a really super simple saucy stir fry. It's a little lighter usually, like more like this color if you put vegetables in it. But since I didn't, there's just a lot of sauce. But I don't mind it because I like most of my food pasta wise or noodle wise or, you know, general. Super saucy. Greetings and salutations, everybody. It is a Wednesday night. The kids literally just finished their homework a second ago. That's why I decided to pick up the camera. Mia was actually camping out on those towels right there while I was taking a shower. And I had her read facing this wall so I could see her book and any words she was struggling in while taking a shower. That's mom multitasking for you. Abel was doing her math homework downstairs. While we were doing that, Chris had to go run a quick errand. He's sick right now, so I know you guys can relate. Man flu, it's not actually the flu. He just got a cold, but still. It's uh, it's hopefully not gonna take over too much. We got our suitcase out right here because we went to Denver this past weekend. Only like a quick 48 hour trip, so I decided not to vlog at all because I wanted to detox a little bit from, you know, work, 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 but I did miss vlogging a little bit, but luckily the trip went so horribly wrong as far as unfortunate events go, it kind of worked out. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that my car tire got shredded on the way to the airport. It was actually on the way to drop Yuna off at Chris's parents' house, and then his dad was supposed to give us a ride to the airport. We we're gonna leave our car there. Um, so still kind of on the way to the airport, which was unfortunate because it was in that timing. But yeah, so we had to have my friend Eric. He luckily was nearby. He took us halfway to meet Chris's dad, who had to go kind of out of the way to the airport to grab us. We made it to the airport with five minutes left before our baggage check-in because we had to handle the, you know, the tire shredding. We had to leave it somewhere overnight. It was one of those things that didn't need to happen. So then we get to Denver. We go to our snow resort Saturday morning. We get there, we unzip our snowboarding bag, which only contains snowboards and my snow pants. Chris also threw his jacket in there, which I was so like about because I like to wear jackets. One, they take up too much space, and two, it's like the hardest, most expensive thing to replace. So typically, you want to keep those things on you if you're gonna check stuff. And we flew Southwest, so it's like two free check-in bags. He decided to throw in his jacket instead of wear it. Luckily, they didn't take that because that thing was brand new, but they stole. 
no pants. And that sucks. I only pack one pair. There's no reason to pack more than one typically for a two day trip. So they are just like standard black North Face pants. They still sell them, so that was great. So I went to the shops at Ski Resort, which is like buying candy at a movie theater. It's not fun. Luckily, they were having a sale, so kind of offset the price of buying it at a ski resort you know compared to buying it at a mall so i got my same pants because i just knew in my head that i'm never going to see my original snow pants ever again tsa left the card in there so they either best case left it out at the airport and didn't put it back in which i don't understand how you could do that when you're checking a snowboarding bag especially like the people who are checking bags for the checked bags, you know, not like the carry-ons where people are standing with their stuff. That's a whole different thing. So you guys took my stuff out and you zipped up a snowboarding bag and didn't realize there was a pair of pants next to you. Don't think that's actually happening. I'm pretty sure they got stolen, especially because I flew out of BWI, which is probably the most unprofessional airport, I will say, out of all of our airports. And I've been to all of them because, you know, BWI was the closest airport to me when I lived in Maryland. We come home. Of course, we didn't leave them at home. They were definitely in there and they definitely got taken or left out or whatever. <laughs> Turn these off, the room's probably getting really hot. Okay. So I actually switched my desk over to this face and used to face the window. I'm sure you guys are used to it. So it'd be a different vlogging angle for sure. I still haven't taken my tag off my chair. I'm definitely not returning it. But for some reason, I just haven't taken it off. It's on my Amazon favorites and I have my sciatica comfy life pad on top of it. It's a very nice chair. It's roughly like a hundred bucks on Amazon. There's a prime shipping one for 170 and that's one I got because like if I wanted to refund it, it's sold through Amazon because the hundred dollar one is sold like independently i wasn't trying to mess with all that but yeah this one i have on my favorites page i was telling people about your sickness yeah feeling crappy very much but on a positive note I pictures printed out there's three of them and then this is going to be in chris's cubicle and the pictures are going to hang it's magnetic it's basically the same thing i have on this wall over here and i have different magnets and you know like stuff I have like a little magnetic pencil holder as well. But this is small and compact. I'm sure that you're gonna move like twice a year. Yeah. You rest yet? Oh, no. I didn't get to rest. Kicking it off? Sorry, I was going to when I got home, but I didn't have This is what we do? I, I mean, I, 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 the rest plan was because you were gonna go to work. Uh, you didn't go to work, so you should have been resting all day. He had to call in sick because he's sick. Uh, yeah, we need to commission that struggle bus hoodie. Remember I told you, you're the struggle, I, I want a struggle bus hoodie. Yeah. That has a bus on it with a broken tie, like a- No, bus. we're not gonna do that. A smoking tie. <laughs> no. That would be so great. Had a missing wheel and was like on a jack stand or something. That's a struggling bus. It's broken down. In Give me your orange. And this dude is like a big them. child. This man flu, I have to peel his orange the same way I had to peel Ava's orange from lunch. I can do it. Does it not look like a potato? This looks like a potato. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a potato. This orange. is the weirdest shaped orange I've ever seen in my life. But this is our new desk setup, so you can see me and him at the same time. Oh, we got some waves. We got, let's see the front. The front. Here we are. Look at that. Look at this pretty girl. Oh, wow. Hi, pretty girl. Okay, so they're about to go to their dad's house. Um, actually, you're going to actually go to a restaurant tonight. You know how we were at the block earlier? Yeah. Here. They were here. You're going to the new location with dad and Auntie Angela. What, what kind of new? It's another block, but but near Auntie Jen's house, I think. Auntie Jen? Well, you know, like towards Auntie Jen's So you're going out tonight, so we're making sure you're looking good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we got about five minutes since we worked on Mia's hair to look kind of like mommy's hair. Hello. I love the length now because look, look, you can braid it because you grew it back out. You can have little braids again. You look so pretty. So we're taking off our old nail polish. This is the one that I showed in my Smith & Colt video. She wore it. Yeah, the pretty silver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I showed the, that color and I said, I'm going to give it to Mia because she loves nail polish. Yeah, I do. I need a little more spray. That stuff is strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, turn, turn, turn. First we're taking off my nail polish, then yeah, putting we'll new we'll ones on. Um, no, it, it's not worn. It'd be either in the stored away stuff or. I checked the top fence and not in the work. Can you check her pants area too, just in case? Yeah, I did. You did? Then can you bring me one of the up? 
higher bins then? I'm trying to find some stockings for me now, right now because yeah. Mia doesn't like pants. <laughs> yeah. So thank you ColourPop for making me one of the coolest moms because I have the Frozen collection and Mia was looking at it earlier. Is it not so cool? It so cool. cool. Pretty. First yeah, that would work. First we're starting with um, not the um, Let Chris put the stockings on for you before we before we paint your nails mm. because then it's gonna <laughs> typically <laughs> Let's see. Sit, sit, up, sit on his lap sit please thank you there you go okay well, leg foot foot in like a sock other one other, other, one. other right foot you in there yep she's in there <laughs> there you go you pay me go no. wow wow nothing nothing because this is your house. That's another reason. If it's my house, you should be paying me. You're in my house. You're not gonna pay me with kisses or hugs or high fives or or jokes or anything. I don't get anything. Not even a tip. Wow. How about you a joke? Sure, I'll take a joke. That's not. It, don't move me. Don't move me. <laughs> Do you have another joke than that? Oh wait. Why did Elsa say let it go? Cause she. I don't know. Well, she let go of the flame. <laughs> oh. So all the purples are done. And now we can do pink. That's what you wanted. A little part right there in a second. Okay. It's dry. <laughs> it helps it dry faster. So a quick dry. Okay, this, this finger. It does look like a shiny coat. And that yeah, it's a top is coat. Shiny. Ooh, pretty. Mm -mm. You love it? You love it. I love you. Okay, let's blow. Table. Yep, invisible table. You're right. Okay. Yeah. Everybody, we just put the tree up today. Me and the girls worked on it and did a great job. And Ava's eating a cinnamon bun. Okay, cinnamon bun crew. We got the garland up. The lights aren't on yet. What's that? But she can't touch it. She can. You, you want to take a bite? Ava can hold it for you. Cinnamon roll. Oh, cinnamon. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I made it. Mm, yeah, the Pillsbury one. So we got our tree up. We got our flowers. We got our stones. We got our rolls. Go. I need to tilt this up a little bit. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I just finished packing Yuna's meal because she's coming with us to Thanksgiving this year. I'm very excited about this at my mother-in-law's house. And it's a smaller group gathering than usual, but my parents are also <laughs> coming to Thanksgiving at Chris's parents' house. So it's it should be manageable because Yuna knows the majority of people there. So hopefully it goes well. Chris is looking for my phone right now. Did you find it? Awesome, awesome. Are you just going like that? Mm -hmm. You going like that? With a jacket, yeah. Christopher's Thanksgiving outfit is the same every year. <laughs> if it's not red and black, it's black. That's about it. Yuna's outfit, looking a little tri-color, we like, we like. And I'm also doing an all black. But a new cardigan from She, no, from Yes Style. And I got like this baby hair situation, so I got little clips in right now, but yeah. We're going simple. We need to be there early because I'm helping, you know, with the foods. So we're heading over now. It's only 12.30, but we're supposed to be there at 12. So dinner starts at four. We gotta go. Looking a little frizzy, looking a little crazy. My ponytail has fallen. So we just came back from the gym. So my ponytail is a little less spunky than it was before, especially with the exercises I was doing that required a lot of, you know, motion. Here we go, we're a little better, still frizz, whatever. Anywho. Chris just went to work. It's 10.45 at night. And since he started night shifts a little less than two weeks ago, if I added that clip in from the vlog or not, I'm all by myself. Except for Yuna, who's with me. Thanks, boo-boo. Cause I can't find anything to rhyme with self. So I still got some leftover cake from Yesterday, I got some carrot cake, and I think I accidentally squished the pie with my finger. Abundance of dessert. So I have some carrot cake made by Chris's aunt. I have a white raspberry bundt cake my sister brought, and this is a sweet potato pie made by my mother-in-law. Why are we singing everything you know right now? We don't know, we really don't. We actually just got back from the gym. Just enough time for Chris to go take a shower before work and for me to pack 
his lunch. Doo -doo. Ooh. Pushing our protein powder back. We got pie for pie season, and I'm definitely gonna have some tonight. Pecan, Cracker Barrel, if you watched us last year, you know what it is. I got a package right here, and this is from Yes Style. Yes Style will ship some things sometimes separately, like Amazon does, you know, like, if it's available, to send it before the other stuff. But anywho, this is a cutlery set I dug out and washed for Chris so he could take it to work. I got this for him because it was a great way to have, like, chopsticks, fork, knife, and spoon all stacked together. These cutlery sets are for the kiddos in their lunch boxes. I'll open one to show you guys. They could use this for when I pack them lunch. This is just a beige one. I have a beige, a blue, and a baby pink. So it just has a very deep <laughs> looking soup spoon. And this is just some makeup goodies, liquid liner. We got some samples. We got sheet masks, things you'll see on my beauty channel. Um, this is one of my favorite Shu Uemura eyelash curlers because it's one, I don't know why they have to do it, like they like put the sticker on top, but it's one that kind of clamps over your eyelashes. So this is great to have around just for those like inner corner or like false lash blending moments. I wanna say it was like $12, so super cheap compared to the one I got before. I think this might be like a mini size because it's so, so, so tiny. This is an oldie but goodie. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know about the carbonated bubble clay mask. I might just use this tonight because I miss it. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, bring it back, bring it back. I also got like bento boxes for Chris's lunch box and um, I think a jacket or two for me as well, which should be coming in soon. But since we're here, let's see if Yuna likes this. I'm gonna set Yuna up next to the kids' table to be able to uh, watch TV with them and um, play with their toys without them falling on the ground. So that's why the ottoman is in such a strange place right now. But this is what the glove looks like. This has little rubber, rubber bristles. I thought I got the two pair one, but maybe I got the one pair. Um, what do you think? Okay. Ready? What do you think? So Yuna really doesn't like having her paws brushed as much as the rest of her body. Like it kind of doesn't feel good. Like I think the, when the metal bristles run on her like bonier areas. So she'll like walk away faster. But I don't think she minds this on her hands, which is nice. So I can get that shedding off right away. She doesn't mind me touching her feet. Like she doesn't care at all, but it's just like the metal, the metal brushes. For Yuna, this is light work, but it's something. Granted, she's not like hardcore shedding right now, so it's just kind of like whatever I'm getting off. But after the groomers, then I'm sure this would be very enjoyable. Hair starting to fall back down because I just took off my jacket, but it is shower time. I'm gonna do a little of this mask. I'm like, I kind of want to take a bath, but then I kind of just don't want to fill up the tub and have to wait. Ooh, it is. A little after 11 o'clock now. Typically, we'll just be on the phone with my sister the rest of the night. That's just uh, my routine right now. Oh, Lord. Lord. Lord? Lord. Lord. I was so tired today because I've been staying up later. I'm sure people can relate. When their spouse isn't home, it's like so much easier to stay up late compared to like sleep. So I'm gonna take some CBD right now. I think I get a little panicky when I'm alone. I don't really like being home alone. I grew up being home alone a lot, especially when my sister started driving or just be me and my sister. We both really don't like being alone because our parents both work night shift. I think my paranoia starts to kick in. You know when you be running up the stairs really quick after you try to go get some water? Cause you're like, ooh, if I am too slow, a murderer gonna get me. <laughs> Currently talking to my mother-in-law. Oh, please. My mother-in-law wanted me to bring the kids to visit since we don't have them on Thanksgiving, but Chris's grandma's in town and generally they just miss the kids. So they wanted to see them. So I'm gonna bring them there and then bring them to my mom. So double grandparents day tomorrow while Chris is sleeping because he gets home the, the exact time I need to leave the house, go get the girls. So I can't be too tired tomorrow. And since I haven't probably mentioned it too much on here, the sticks that I use to cleanse are these. These are a small family business and they also believe in sourcing sustainably and that is why they only source from reforestation projects and generally wood that has fallen in the forest. 